Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Scubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. And today, we have Tom Sanders. I searched near and far. Chad helped me because he can be no, he, nowhere to be found on the internet. Tom Sanders is founder of OurPamperedHome.com. They were ranked among the top 100 sellers overall on Amazon. They have, to give you an idea, they have had over 212,756 reviews at the present time and counting. They have year-over-year -year growth of over 40% for the past 12 years and have grown into one of the top online retailers. Tom, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for having me. So, Tom, since this, this is the Scubana e-commerce mastery series, I just have a few more questions. This has been fantastic. Um, the first is best sellers. What surprised you the most as far as either a product or category that has been just selling like gangbusters for you? Um, I'm always surprised at how many, you know, vacuum bags we sell. Um, I am surprised every time I hear someone talk about selling vacuum bags. Yeah. Um, you know, we do, that, that's a big, just from a, a quantity sold. Yeah. Um, it's amazing uh, how many you can sell. Uh, they're not, you know, necessarily the most expensive item. Uh, so you're not doing a huge amount of revenue from it, uh, and margins pretty much razor thin. Yeah. Uh, but what's really, you know, starting to surprise us is some of the, you know, we do well with pets. You know, it, it's that's kind of an emerging category for us um, of sorts. We still don't have as much data as we would like uh, because it's new to us um but our we're our pampered home so home is still our our bread and butter our mm -hmm. backbone to mm -hmm. the business is what do people buy for their really home and kitchen right. is what we would you know class it as a brand um and we're not trying to you know fix what's not broken it's working for us it's worked year over year right. uh, for a lot of time so well we branch out and we do add you know some pet stuff, some baby stuff, some we're doing, you know, well with the beauty category, even though it's, it's really gated and restricted. So you do have to be very careful there. Um, what do you mean it's restricted? Uh, you can't just go buy, uh, you know, Calvin Klein cologne or something from a wholesaler and list, you might be able to that product, but for example, you can't buy Calvin Klein cologne from a wholesaler and list it on Amazon to sell it. Um, part of it is Amazon stance on beauty stuff is if you ingest it, need it, or you put it on your skin, your face, whatever, that they want to vet you as a seller first, hmm. uh, which is, you know, it'll, you'll just have a re listing restriction. You can't list it until you've either, you know, proven your, I'll use the word worthiness, but it's not, you know, you're pretty it, vetted though. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Right. <laughs> <That's what laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, you know, fortunately, and, you know, knock on wood. Um, but, yeah, w if we want to sell beauty products, it's a matter of, you know, proving the authenticity and where mm. you get it, chain of, you know, not chain of command, but chain you. of ownership. Right, um, right. We didn't just buy it from the guy out of his van who was, you know, Pouring selling. the bottles that say Calvin Klein. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and everything we buy is all, all legitimate goods and so forth. Yeah. And we buy it you know, the vast majority of our stuff direct from the manufacturer. Mm. So, you know, if, if Amazon wants to see an invoice of where something yeah. came from, I'll just send it right over. Right. Uh, you know, there's no, there's no reason to hide any of it. I don't, if Amazon really wants to know the vendor, they have, what, 10,000 people or something probably buying product. They don't need me to tell them where to buy it. So why do I care if mm. I send them an invoice? Right. So what are some of the best actual tips since... We're drawing to a close here. What are some of the best actual tips people should start doing right now to increase their e-commerce business? Because we talked a lot about a lot of different things. Where should people start? Um, you first have to have, have an idea of what you want to sell. 
and sell something that you like. Be passionate about it. Know that you're not going to get bored of it, you know, two weeks from now and just get lazy and sloppy. Mm-hmm. Um, the second is organization. That as an e-commerce retailer, and we suffer from it sometimes as well with the volume that we do, is staying super organized, knowing what you have, where you have it, um, and that organization will make your life so much easier uh, in the long run. We've had the opportunity to tour an Amazon warehouse uh, just recently, and the amount of what you would say is empty space, meaning the aisles, room to move around and and see what you have, Mm -hmm. is they have a lot of money to build these very large warehouses, but there's a reason why there's, you know, great organization, Mm -hmm. everything's labeled, everything has its own place so they can find it. And yeah, right. They're in, they, they have a lot of warehouses in Vegas area. Yeah. They have, uh, I think they have a few in Vegas, uh, Reno, Phoenix. Uh, Mm -hmm. we actually went all the way to the East coast of you one. Um, but you know, jumped at the chance because, Mm Not every day that they, you know, they invite you there. So what did you um, learn? What else did you learn by, by going up close and personal? Unfortunately, I, I do have a non-disclosure Oh, really? Agreement. Yeah. Um, we have a couple non-disclosure agreements with Amazon for some of the, you know, stuff that we've been like given. This top secret drone that's dropping things. Yeah, there's nothing, <laughs> you know, there's nothing like crazy that, you know, there's robots walking around or something, uh, you know that is just going to blow your mind. But some of the, you know, stuff. Some but, of the procedures, you mean they want to keep private or? Yeah, I, I would think so. Yeah. Um, but, you know, from the layout of everything, we, and we run into space constraints just because we don't have the square footage that we need. But when you're there and you can see how clean, literally I would have eaten a sandwich right off the floor. Mm. That's how awesome their warehouse. It's clean. It's organized. There's empty space. And, um, I tell our warehouse all the time since we've been there, there is nothing wrong with having some nice empty space to work in. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, just, just imagine if your desk is piled with clutter right. um, versus you have, you have space to operate in. Yeah. Uh, you know, you really, you will get more done when you have some, some space to, mm-hmm. to around in. Um, that's interesting. So, do they only invite like some of the top sellers? Is that, um, you know, we we're a strategic account with Amazon. Um, so we have a an account manager who put our name on the list and was invited. But I know that you can go to like a, a commercial, like the the grade school tour. You know, they'll take you through. They'll show you some stuff. But as like a, a seller in there. Uh, program we got to see a, a little bit more and hear a little bit more than the grade school tour yeah. um but it yeah it's it's they're not all of a sudden turning over their their software to, uh, <laughs> um, i you know i would be more than happy to to jump at the chance to, to lease it from them or something but it's there's a reason why amazon is as big as they are and some of that their systems that are in place will blow your mind mm. um, if you ever get a chance to, to go to our one. Even the, the grade school level one, just to see inside is really, um, you know, you'd, you'd really have a lot of fun. So, Tom, what's been the proudest moment that you've had with the business? Um, I take a lot of pride in just proving people wrong. A lot of people said there's no way you're going to be able to sell stuff online um, and make a living at it. Mm. You can sell stuff, but it's not a full-time job. It's not something that you're going to be able to pay, you know, ever have a life doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was, you know, what, 8, 10, 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and if somebody tells me I can't do something, they're pretty much daring me to do it. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't make money doing this or you can't, you know, make a living doing that. And proving them wrong was really a, uh, not, you know, I'm proud of proving them wrong, but it, it's really that motivating factor there. Mm-hmm. Uh, once we hit a million sales a year, I really felt like, wow. Um, That's amazing. And I, you know, I have a personal, like, ritual of sorts. You know, you always want to set yourself 
a a reward, a personal reward mm-hmm. of once you hit whatever that milestone is, do something. Take yourself out to yeah. dinner. Yeah. You know, buy yourself a. So what's you know, yours? Yeah. Um, because of the amount of credit card purchases that we do, um, we have a lot of credit card points. You can fly uh, around the world a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to go on some uh, some decent vacations. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I've I've got to enjoy enjoy that. You know, the credit card points are are great to just be able to, you know, book a flight, book a hotel, whatever, all on points. Um, and you know, in the beginning, it was you know, me and my wife would just go out to dinner, and we'll you know make it a, a special you know get all dressed up and mm-hmm. go out to a nice meal. Um, but it it can be anything. You know, it could be. You're gonna buy yourself, you know. If, if my wife had her way, she would every time, you know, a milestone was hit, she's gonna buy herself a new purse. Um, make it something, yeah. uh, because if if it's something that means a lot to you and and you like doing it, um, you're gonna work hard to to achieve that goal. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, I like that's something that I always work towards yeah. is achieving that that next milestone. Yeah, I mean, after not taking a paycheck for years, not sleeping, or very little, yeah, and I... stressing out, what's the most um, indulging, you know, night out or vacation that you ended up giving yourself much um, deserved? As far as night out, I would be embarrassed to. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not nothing embarrassing like we went streaking or something, but right. we'll go to some some nice dinners. Yeah. Uh, and it's you know you go find yourself a nice steakhouse or mm-hmm. whatever type of food you like. Yeah. And me and my wife will book dinner at you know seven o'clock and we'll shut the restaurant down just sitting there you know talking for yeah. hours and you know we'll turn a a dinner into three or three and a half hour tour. Mm-hmm. Um, not eating the whole time, but, you know, just enjoying, relaxing, just yeah. decompress after hitting that milestone. Um, you know, as far as vacations, I like the beach, um, you know, Hawaii, Mexico, <laughs> Southern California, uh, that we've been able to travel there, yeah. uh, a number of times and, and really like it. So everybody's different though. Uh, Tom, this I'm, has been... Amazing. And my last question is, um, tell me what advice would your wife give people and <laughs> how much um, she's really contributed to the business? Um, as I can Her, see just the name in itself, she, she uh, that's amazing. She, but what advice would she give people? Uh, you know, she... Can you give me a second? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> I, I discussed this with her last night. Yeah. Um, you can edit edit this. No, in, I right? don't edit anything. It's just. You know, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to have dead air. No, that's fine. Um, it's like a normal conversation, you know. It's, yeah, you know her. Uh, her feedback would, jokingly, she would probably say, "Just listen to her, and everything will be good." Right, right. Um, Which is probably but, partially true. <laughs> in reality. Uh, you know, it's she's the one that really got annoyed buying something that she didn't like. She doesn't yeah. want to buy vacuum bags. It's yeah. do something that makes you happy. Yeah. Um, and from our sta- from us as you know, husband and wife, as personal couple, not business related. Right. We're if your business has ups and downs, don't freak out. Um, this whole business could go away and as long as, you know, it's the two of us and we've got our dog, um, we'll be fine. Like with it, you want to go through and we went through some really hard times. Um, you want to go through some hard times to know what the, even medium good times, whatever they are, are going to be. Um, our hardest times were, were tough. And they were, when this business, you know, started, right before it started, when, 
you know, things were, you know, for us, bad. Um, but having those bad times taught us to, you know, to work hard, to, you know, save money, to enjoy what you have. Mm-hmm. You know, more so than more so than buying that purse of sorts. The purse is nice, mm. but you know, as long as you're healthy and you know you can yeah. have some, you know, some food to to eat and a roof over your head. Yeah. You have that Everything gratitude else. and appreciation for where yeah. you, for where you were. She taught me a lot of that, yeah. and she's you know we stuck stuck it out um, through that really bad time, and we had you know some support there from from people. And I know that I never want to go back there. Uh, it's almost like outside of, you know, you graduate high school or you graduate college and go broke. Just, I don't care. Go broke for six months. Right. Have a hard, hard time, hard experience. Right. Set up all your credit cards. Live on, you know, the change out of your couch cushions. I guarantee you'll work harder for the rest of your life after mm. that. Yeah. Um, I know I did. I know, you know, because you, you know, you don't want to, you know, go back to, uh, do I have, you know, do I have top ramen or do I just save it for tomorrow? Yeah. I'm not a top ramen eater, but hypothetically, yeah. uh, you, you know, you have to have a respect for what you could have, you know, yeah. because it could be. Everything could go away tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't do that. I actually don't do this business for the money. Mm. I don't at all. Um, I do it because I like it. I, I like I like putting up the next bigger number. I like selling more of that vacuum bag than I did last year. Um, it's a personal competition. I just want to, you know, do better myself. Yeah. Uh, and the you know the real support in this business. My dad, who's the other owner, we want to. We probably don't need to continue growing the business to pay our bills for quite some time. Yeah. But we want to. You know, we want to. You know, give people a job. We want to keep them their job. We want to. You know, to push ourselves. Yeah. Um, because you go through a hard time, and yeah, you that. learn to. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's. That would be her advice. Yeah. Tom, this has been fantastic. Thank you, finally, for speaking out and uh, not uh, always under the radar. Uh, where should we point people towards? What site should we uh, send them to? You know, if uh, our Pampered Home is our website, um, you know, you can, you can contact them for there. They, I don't just give out my email address. I'll end up with, yeah. you know, <laughs> 100 emails more than I need in a given day. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, if somebody wants to get a hold of me or anyone at this company, uh, our website's Our Pampered Home. Yeah. Uh, we sell on Amazon as Our Pampered Home uh, is our seller name. We've pretty much branded ourselves that way yeah. everywhere. And uh, if anybody has, you know, questions, comments, whatever, talk to us. Um, we stop being so closed off. Yeah. Uh, and I, just, I wish that there was a lot more openness in e-commerce because mm-hmm. I remember, and still to this day, there's questions that we have that I know somebody else has the answer to. Right. But if you call up, you know, the guy next to you selling, uh, you're Unless not you're really sure. With that, them. Yeah. You don't know what that reception will be. Um, so, yeah, we're, we've become more of an open book now because you realize that one one person can't necessarily put you out of business. You can only put yourself out of business. Yeah. Um, so comparing notes is not a bad thing. Yeah. Well, Tom, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. I appreciate your time. <laughs>